Come in. Hello. Hi. Is it Mrs. Smith? It is. Hello, my name's Dr. Rosada. Hi. I'm one of the GPs. What can I do for you today? Um, well, I came for a well woman uh, clinic assessment um, two weeks ago mm -hmm. and I've had a call to come in for some blood test results. Okay, so it's the first time I've met you today. So do you want to just take me back to what made you come in and ask for this well woman check? Um, well, nothing really. I just wanted to check that everything was okay, you know, um, but there was nothing in particular on my mind, really. Um, I'm quite healthy, I think, mm -hmm. so I'm just a bit worried why I've been asked to come in today. Okay, well, I, get that. I can understand that, and you'll, you'll look a little bit worried as well. Um, can I just ask a bit more about yourself, and then we can have a chat about the results, or would you rather me talk to you about the results first? Um... I think I'd rather know about the results. I'm a bit nervous, so okay. I'd rather know what, why I'm here and what's okay. happened. That's, that's absolutely okay. okay. So, uh, just kind of look what. Um, so, you had um, some blood result, uh, blood test done. We looked at your blood count to see whether you were anemic, and that's come back normal, which okay. is good. We looked at your kidney and your liver and the function of those, and they've come back normal as well, which is good. And then we checked to see if there was any. Uh, whether you were diabetic or not, and that's come back as normal again, which okay. is good. So the one test that's come back um, slight, slightly raised is your cholesterol, and we, we've mm. checked that twice now. Can okay. I just check, when you did these tests, were you, did you fast? Um, nothing to eat or drink from Yeah, 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 I was told, yeah, yeah. so I followed the instructions, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we wanted to talk to you about, really, was your cholesterol result, because the results are quite high. Right, okay. Um, Okay, that's a bit of a shock. No, I, could, I wouldn't expect that. I mean, I feel fine. I'm, yeah. yeah. I don't feel yeah. ill or anything. I've, I've been fine, really. As I say, I just came just for a normal checkup just sure. to make sure I was okay. Can I find out a little bit more about yourself and your lifestyle and then we yeah, can have a chat about what this all means? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so just to, um, so you you came in for this well woman check and you said that you're normally quite fit and well, so yeah, you know. Um, just some specific questions just to check, um, so you're not drinking more than usual at all? No, no, um, probably on average I drink about two bottles of wine a week. Two bottles of wine? Yeah, mm -hmm. just, you know, leisurely, mm -hmm. weekends kind of thing, nothing mm -hmm. too excessive. And tell me a bit more about your lifestyle in terms of your diet and things. Um, my diet's okay, I try and eat plenty of fruit and veg as you're supposed to. Um, the one big thing I probably don't eat a lot of is um, fish. I know you're supposed to eat oily fish. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan. No. Um, but apart from that, I do eat a lot of the good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know that you're supposed to eat. I am quite conscious of that. Good. Um, don't want to put on weight and things like that. So. So do you exercise more? I do. I um, about twice a week I mm -hmm. go running and I play netball as well. I'm part okay. of the netball team. Brilliant. So I'm quite active. Yeah. And then you're working at the minute? I am, quantities of it, yeah. Oh, is that quite an active job or is it more desk based? Um, yeah, it's probably a lot of um, paperwork side, can be quite stressful at sure. times. Um, but we are on site as well, so yeah, I'd probably say 30 on site, okay. 70 in, in office doing office stuff. So. Do you enjoy it? I do enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Good. Yeah. And then have you, tell me, I've not mentioned it, I've not asked about your smoking, is that something you t do at all? No, I don't smoke. No, you don't smoke. And then about your family at home, who's at home with you? So I'm married, I've got my husband and I've got my two children, I've got a daughter and a son. Oh lovely, how old are they? Um, so they're 15 and 12. Okay, so you've told me quite a lot about your, your lifestyle there. Um, the records on our notes say that you're normally quite fit and well, is that right? Yeah. And you're yeah. not taking any regular medication no and I know say that you're not allergic to anything as well. No, not does, as far any, as I know. does anything run in the family at all? Um well yeah my well my um my dad died of a heart attack mm -hmm. when he was only fifty. Um and his father died of a stroke when he was about forty five so it's around oh, really? that age. So that's a bit worrying yeah you know, the heart condition and things so I don't know if, if that's anything okay. it's connected. Yeah, I think it could well be. So so obviously you've come in today asking for your bloods and I've told you about this high cholesterol and, and yeah. now you've mentioned how you, you're concerned and worried because of the family history with your um with your dad and your grandfather as well. 
Um, we'll kind of go through now what the results mean. Um, was there anything else that you wanted me to kind of go over or any questions that you've got for me at all? I don't think so at the minute. No? Well, I don't think of anything. Um, if you do think of any, just let me know. Would it be alright if I just examine you, just check your blood pressure? And I'd just like to look in your eyes as well, um, and just look at your elbows and your hands if possible. Is that alright? Just to yeah, see if there's any um, features to suggest high cholesterol at all. Sometimes we can see those in your eyes um, and just get a blood pressure and a weight on you as well. Is okay. that alright? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I was sent these. Okay. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay. So again, just going back to your blood results, your, your cholesterol um, on both occasions was quite high. Now, um, sometimes that can be due to um, poor lifestyle, but you, what you've described to me, um, you seem to have a reasonably healthy lifestyle. Um, the results would suggest that it's a condition that runs in the family which causes a high cholesterol, something we call familial hypercholesterolemia, which okay. is a bit of a mouthful and you don't need to remember that, but is that something you've heard of at all? No, no. Not that I can think of no. Okay, so when you're um, when you're when when you're born, the information that gets passed to us, the packets of information, um, sometimes you can inherit or get faulty bits of information, and I I think that the information that is to do with your cholesterol and how the cholesterol is made is a bit faulty. Now that can run in families, but it can just happen out of the blue as well. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It makes so I think sense. looking at the results, that would suggest, especially with your family history, that it is something that has run down in the family, and that the bits of information that handles your cholesterol is not working as well as we'd like, and that's the reason why your cholesterol is high. Right. Okay. Now the reason why we worry about that is because high cholesterol can fill up your blood tubes in your heart and your brain and increase your risks of heart attacks and strokes, which is something we obviously don't want. Mm. Yeah. And um, so. There's lots of things we can do here. Now, we've, you, you've got a good lifestyle you've mentioned. I think you mentioned about two bottles of wine on a weekend. I think that's perhaps something you could look at and maybe reduce. Do you think that's something you could... Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, if, I, if that's what I need to do, then yeah, definitely. I think um, it, it wouldn't have too much of an effect on your cholesterol um, because, it's it, like I said, I think it's something that runs in the family and it's the way that your body's processing it. But just that will just make, you know, improve your lifestyle and it, it's all part of healthy living if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Um, but carry on exercising like you're doing. In terms of what we can do, I think um, I think in this instance we should start a tablet called a statin to reduce that cholesterol, to reduce your risk of having any problems in the future with your heart. Have you... Okay. Um, would that be a tablet that I like have to take forever then? It would be, yes. It would be a tablet that you take at night time because that's when the liver makes most of your cholesterol. Um, okay. Obviously, I'll discuss it with you all now, and you, you don't have to make a decision today. Um, but it's kind of trying to reduce that risk that's there, um, because we don't want you having any problems with the heart or, the, or your brain at all. So it would be a tablet that would give you, um, and it would be one tablet at night, and it basically reduces your cholesterol to a, a normal level. So what we would do is we'd start that tablet, and then in three months' time we'd recheck your liver function and your cholesterol results as well. Okay. Now I know I'm giving you a lot of information here, so I will give you a leaflet to take away as well. Really? Um, Thank you. But in addition to starting that, so I'd like to start you on something called a torvastatin, 20 milligrams at night. Um, have you read anything about it in the papers? Because I know it's had quite a lot of reviews in the papers. No, I've not really heard no. too much about it. Is there a lot of side effects or something? It can cause um, muscle aches, typically they call it a little bit of muscle aches or stiffness. Um, which usually kind of improves with time, but if it is very severe, just stop it and let us know. Okay, okay. It can sometimes irritate your liver as well, so if you do get any tummy pain that's unusual for yourself, again, stop it and let us know. But we'll be monitoring your liver, like I said, after three months, and we'll check your cholesterol to check it to come down nicely. But okay. because this condition I'm concerned has run in the family, I'd like to refer you to the hospital where um, you'll see a consultant who specialises in you know, fats in the blood and this sort of issue, and they'll follow you up, and they'll also look at your family as well, like your children you mentioned. Um, and yeah. yeah, yeah. so could it pass on to my children then, if it's, it is in the family? Yeah, so that's a good question. So if it is if it is this condition, which I am suspecting, um, it, it, there's a one in two chance that your children may be affected. Okay. Okay, and I've got a little girl. If she then had children, mm -hmm. 
could it affect that? Could it just keep going down through the generations? So, so if 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 you did have this faulty inf- bit of information, there's a one in two chance you could pass that on to your daughter, and um, and then if your daughter did have it again, there's a one in two chance that she could pass it on. But there's a, there's a you know there's a one in two chance that she might not have it as well. So I do think okay. we'll get you referred and um, see the consultant. Um, and then you can ask questions there about you know you'll they'll they'll, they'll see your children depending on their age um, and take it from there really. Okay. Does okay. does that all make sense? Um, yeah, it does. It's a bit of a shock. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything to be wrong, but um, yeah, thank you. You've you've explained everything there. So. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is um, in terms of the statin which we've talked about, there's a, a few things that you know you shouldn't you shouldn't have any grapefruit juice with it, and it will say it all in the information okay. packet. But I'll give you a leaflet, and then I'll give you a blood test today. So in three months we'll get your blood rechecked, and then come back and see me, and then we can have a chat. I'll write a letter to the consultant now, and you should get a letter through in the post about that in the next couple of weeks. And if you don't hear anything, let me know, and uh, we'll so I'll see you in a couple of months' time. Is that all right? Um, yeah. Yeah, you sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's Thank brilliant. You. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much for your help. Take Thank care. You. Bye. Bye.